Commodore Jai Singh, you know, you're a submariner yourself, and this has been a, you know, a specific uh, sort of concern and worry as far as force levels are concerned, the increasing aggression with which uh, China has upped its own submarine force levels. Uh, you know, Chinese submarines have ventured, in, uh, you know, on occasion into the Indian Ocean, including their, uh, you know, nuclear fleet. Uh, how is India prepared for that? I think a future Chinese submarine presence in the Indian Ocean is a matter of concern. Yeah. You know, they're building up their SSN. SSNs are these nuclear powered conventional attack submarines, they're conventionally yes. armed with the nuclear powered. So, all the limitations that smaller diesel electric submarines have in terms of, in terms of range and endurance and high speed uh, is neutralized by the nuclear, nuclear propulsion that the SSN has mm. or the attack submarine has. And China is focusing a lot on that. In fact, as per estimates, by the end of this decade, China would perhaps have 20 or more uh, SSNs in the inventory, hmm. which would mean that at any given time, I would not be surprised if, if a couple of SSNs do do venture into the Indian Ocean and are permanently deployed here at some point, somewhere or the other Indian Ocean. Now, when you have that kind of a submarine presence, it definitely constrains the surface ship commander's ability to maneuver or his unchallenged sort of presence on the sea because he doesn't know when he's being tracked and when is, it being, when is he being detected by a submarine? So that's something we need to be concerned about. How do we counter that? 